Finance Minister Matia Kasaija says he is now intensifying his lobbying to have donor-funded projects and programs comply with the Buy Uganda, Build Uganda policy. I see no reason at all why you should give me a grant, you should give me a loan, and you restrict me where I should buy from. You shouldn't restrict me. Then you are not helping me. I know we have also a problem in China. I... With over 7 trillion shillings from the donor kitty combined, spent directly and through government agencies annually, concerns over preferred international contracts is at the tip of this procurement standoff. And World Bank had to cancel uh, its credit for that particular furniture and say, if you want to go local to support Bubu, for them they don't know Bubu, then we must use our own money. So actually, over the weekend, my minister was reading to me, now the formal communication uh, calling, you know, announcing a misprocurement on that furniture. The Uganda Contractors and Providers Summit 2019 has also seen engineers resurrect their demands on local content. I've talked to UNAPSEC um, and asked that they make special purpose vehicles, get two or three companies, get together. And here you need integrity because you have to really balance so that we have a bigger con co contracting company. That would also reduce their working costs, but at the same time, it would be more attractive. The summit is being held under the theme Bubu from a contractor's perspective. Allow me to use this opportunity to call upon the banking uh, industry, the bankers, to offer flexible, affordable financing products to the contractors and service providers to enhance their participation in their procurement cycle. Reina Ojun. NTV Business.